Hello, welcome to Friars Motor Company. I've got a lovely car to tell you about today. It's a 2012 Renault Kangoo 1600. It's the expression model, which was the luxury example. Uh, that had picnic tables, seat height adjustment, electric windows, steering column adjustment, cruise control, overhead shelf, nice upholstery. It's in a pretty metallic blue, it's automatic, air conditioning and uh, it's been converted for wheelchair access by constables. And you can see some of their paperwork. Now it's only done a very low mileage of 5,500. It was serviced at 3,800 miles in April 14. 4,400 miles in April 15, 5,037 miles March 16. So uh, the, the owner has been very careful about yearly servicing. Now the Kangoo is one of the most popular automatic wheelchair cars. They're famed for their sm smooth ride, conventional automatic gearbox, lovely and smooth. Not too big on the outside, but roomy on the inside. Now for the wheelchair conversion, we've got the lowered floor, as you see, that's the original height, and there it is down there. Lovely ramp I'll show you. And uh, we've got one seat in the back, so we can seat three people, plus the wheelchair user. You can see up there, overhead lockers, there's an overhead shelf above the windscreen for storage holes in the floor you can just see those for storage so plenty of room now I've got the uh, normal ratchet straps attached they hold you as you're going in controlled by that switch when it's in the up position they're locking but we also have the benefit of a winch which is so good to have expensive to have fitted about 900 pounds and that's a remote control one, it's on the uh, spare key and uh, as you see I've got it attached to the front of the wheelchair so you just stand at the back press the right button just take that brake off there following the wheelchair perhaps giving an inch or two of guidance at times And there we are, we're in. No bother, no pushing. And this is good coming out because it takes the weight of the wheelchair. Then we attach these blue straps to the back of the wheelchair. Seat belt around the wheelchair user. That plugs into that belt there. And you're off. It literally is a two minute job. Now the ramp, I've sold quite a few of these and people buy them for the ramp alone. It's a nice wide ramp, strong, takes a tremendous weight, I think it's 300 kilograms, yeah, there we are, so no weight problems. Now because of this hydraulic strut here, uh, it holds itself up and there you are, it wants to go up on its own so there's no pushing or shoving. Shut the tailgate and you're off sliding doors both sides so if it's a bit of a rainy day the wheelchair user you can sit in the back using the picnic tables have a cup of tea and look out the windows now inside the car itself we've got uh, steering controls for the radio CD player when you switch on the ignition, 5,766 miles, completely guaranteed. It now checks the oil level, that's correct. And on the end of this wiper arm, it's got a fuel computer. So, you can go through, it says service in 17,000 miles, average miles per hour, range of fuel in the tank, average miles per gallon fuel used. Obviously you have to have the car running for these to be showing a reading. I'll just start it up. 
They're lovely and smooth. There's the indicator. I think you can just see that tells you what year you're in. We're in park, back for D for drive. And then you get a lovely smooth uh, ride. Four speeds, aircraft style handbrake. Display there for the radio CD. Cubby hole there. So typically French family car with storage and comfort. So I would imagine that car, when it was new, was going to be knocking on 17, 18,000 pounds. And now we're just a fraction of that and with a tiny mileage. So we have got others I can tell you about here, there and around. But uh, that's a lovely one. If you want to give me a ring and we'll chat about it. And if you're not too far away, I'll be pleased to show it to you, see if it does the job. So I'll look forward to your call. Thank you for looking. Bye-bye there. Bye.